Hello everyone, and this is my review for Monday Night Raw from June 9th, 2014, and, you know, pretty much, uh, d you know, WWE finally did what they probably should have done the entire time with the Daniel Bryan situation, to stop playing around with this whole neck injury situation, give him time to, re uh, give him time to rest, the doctors finally didn't clear him, so they're finally just stripping him of the WWE title. Honestly, they should have done this right from the get-go. They didn't have to play any of those other storylines going into it. Uh, honestly, even thinking about rushing Daniel Bryan back at this point is probably just a bad idea. And, you know, you know, having the authority just strip him of the title kind of, you know, it doesn't kill, his, uh, it doesn't kill any popularity there. If anything, it makes it feel like that. The uh, you know you have the authority trying to hold Daniel Bryan down even though he's injured in this case not having him surrender the title just having him get stripped of the title and when he comes back he'll probably be just as popular as ever so they probably should have done this right from the get go but they tried to wait it out and see if he could come back and now they've kind of written themselves into a storyline where the uh, Money in the Bank ladder match is now for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. So th that's going to leave it interesting to see if they're going to even hold a second uh, one now to see if there will even be a contract match or will you just have the one ladder match and you're not going to have the contract this year. Uh, honestly, it would be a little bit disappointing if they don't have the contract this year. Uh, and in other cases, it would be probably you know a nice little change of pace to not have the contract as well especially since you know the last they haven't really changed the variations of how people cash in their contract with the exception of you know Damian Sandow he did cash in uh, against a weakened champion at the moment even though losing the match he at least created his own opportunity where others had always just had the opportunity handed to him by somebody else and they just cashed in so you know it could be just a a nice little change of pace not having it and you won't have to worry about somebody just doing it the same way that they've been doing it for the past so many years or they're gonna help hold a second one and we will have a contract this year and then whomever that's gonna uh, and you almost have to put Wade Barrett at the forefront for winning the contract match if they put it in there uh, just because Cesaro is in the actual title match now with him winning uh, with it, him getting put in there with winning the a match against RVD to qualify, and Sheamus beating White Bear to uh, qualify for the title match as well. So, and in all honesty, some really good matches there. And so we'll see where they actually go with the Money in the Bank situation. And uh, pretty, uh, pretty much the only other thing I wanted to talk about with this uh, Monday Night Raw, because you had pretty much the same kind of... Uh, you had the same kind of feuds going on and them not really progressing too terribly far, but, you know, them taking some interesting turns. You know, you had Summer Rae and Layla continuing on with their feud. You had Alicia Fox doing um, basically her best impression of AJ going crazy now. Uh, that would be at least semi-interesting if, if and when AJ comes back. Maybe they could have a battle between AJ and Alicia Fox and it would be, you know, basically the battle to see who's more psycho uh so yeah and uh you know you also had uh no you didn't have any continuation with 3mb and uh los matadores and you actually didn't have any continue continuation with jack swagger and Ro adam rose because they weren't e 3mb was on the show but um adam rose wasn't even on the show on the show um so that pretty much brings it to the Seth Rollins, uh, the continuation from him defecting from the Shield from the week before. You know, you had Triple H coming out there talking about Seth Rollins and everything he was doing uh, beforehand, uh, beforehand at the beginning of the show, and then you had Seth Rollins interview uh, probably about halfway through the show. You also had the Shield, uh, Roman Reigns and Dean Ambrose attacking uh, 3MB, and then eventually you know, coming out during Seth Rollins' interview, which was a decent, uh, which was a pretty good promo, honestly. Uh, Seth Rollins has always been good on the mic, so I, and he's always been able to cut a heel promo because they had cut the heel promos in the past when the Shield was a heel, was a heel faction. Obviously, he can do this here now in the future, and they're obviously just trying, to, and they're just trying to build him up as a, hopefully a top level heel down the road. Uh, and then, of course, you had 
uh, Seth Rollins, Roman, or not Seth Rollins, but uh, Dean Ambrose and Roman Reigns come out to attack Seth Rollins. They get interrupted by the Wyatt family, who they were supposed to face in a six-man tag if they found another partner. Uh, they get their hands really quickly on Seth Rollins, but he gets away and when Bray Wyatt interferes. And that led to John Cena coming out and actually helping them and, you know, continuing this feud with Bray Wyatt in, in that sense. So you had the six-man tag, and you had Triple H, you know, throughout the show saying this was going to be the last time you see anything of the Shield. Dean Ambrose, Roman Reigns are going to be taken out tonight by the Wyatt family. And, of course, and you have the six-man tag. You know, with how, uh, not how bad, but, you know, with the fact that you got um, Seth Rollins over against Dean Ambrose and Roman Reigns uh, last week, and they were left lying in the ring. It wasn't necessarily a bad thing that they went over in this match in a clean fashion against the Wyatt family uh, with Roman Reigns uh, with Roman Reigns having the spear there. So, all in uh, all, in all uh, decent progression with the storylines. A, a lot of the same typical areas, though, they've written themselves in the corner with the Money in the Bank ladder match now. And we'll see where they go with that. Uh, it was it was okay. It wasn't anything special this week, but it did what it needed to do. It wasn't horribly bad on there. You, and, yeah, that's my review this week for Monday Night Raw. And I thank you guys for watching.